Hey friends, I am Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet, where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today, we are talking about goal number one, no poverty. Sing it, Gregory. No poverty! And here to talk about it with me today is Broadway star Jared Spector. Hi, Jared. Hi. Of course, Jared played Frankie Valli in Jersey Boys. How many times? 1,500 times. 1,500 times. Yep. That's more than anybody. That's a lot of times. That's and also, of... I know you as a performer. I know you didn't phone it in. I know you showed up. Definitely didn't phone it in. 1,500 times. Yeah. That's a lot of that's times. A, that's a lot of sherry. That's a lot <laughs> that's of... A lot of... <laughs> Will you do? Just one. Real quick. Sherry! Yes. Trying to be the right kid. Still Sherry, got it. Baby. You also played Sonny Bono in Did the you. Cher show. Um, and oh, so lucky for me, we played Barry Mann and Cynthia Wilde together That's in right. Beautiful, which That's was. Right. Hands down, one of the best experiences of my life. Ditto, 100%. Jared, your Broadway debut yep. when you were how old? Nine. Nine years old. You mm. played Gavroche in Les Miserables. Yes, the original production of the, Les Miserables. Is that true? It wasn't like original cast, but it was the original. It was the original, yeah. of course, because that yeah. ran for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, my God, that's fun. Okay, so, but that makes you super knowledgeable about French 19th century musical theater style poverty, which is what we're talking about today. Yes. Um, but actually, seriously, um, I'm curious as a nine-year-old with your American sort of point of view to suddenly be playing somebody in a, in a show where people were so destitute that they were literally, spoiler alert, w willing to go lay their lives down mm -hmm. on the barricades to have, you know, a sort of fairer distribution of wealth. Mm -hmm. Did that f affect you at all? Did that change the way you thought about the world at all? It certainly brings up the age-old philosophical question of would you steal a loaf of bread to feed your family? Right. My answer is always like, yes, I would have done what Valjean yeah. did, right? Yeah. Like, who wouldn't right. do that? Right. And then who yeah. wouldn't? And then, of course, you can have righteous indignation on his behalf yeah. and be like, it's not fair. The world should have food. Global goal number yeah. two, zero hunger. And then, of course, yes, the idea that actually some of the prosperous, wealthy young men laying, laying down their lives on the barricade for the sake of the poor in mm -hmm. the city, I think that a sense of those who have standing up for those who have not yeah. uh, is certainly exemplified very well on that show and probably did give me a sense of you should speak out on behalf of those who cannot. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. okay, Jared. Yes. So global goal number one. No, 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 poverty. What exactly is the goal of this goal? It's to end poverty in all its forms everywhere. End poverty in all its forms everywhere. What this goal is saying is mm -hmm. that eradicating poverty is not a task of charity. It's an act of justice. And yes. it's the key to unlocking this enormous human potential. Yes. Um, nearly half the world's population lives in just abject poverty. And lack mm -hmm. of food and clean water is killing thousands of people every day all mm -hmm. over the world. Yeah. But together, we can feed the hungry and wipe out disease and give everyone in the world a chance to prosper and live a productive and happy life. Yes. Yes. Okay, so Jared, yes. we are standing underneath the red stairs I know. in the middle of Times Square. I know, so first, I've never been under I the red stairs. I didn't know you could go under. I didn't know, yeah. So we are here because these stairs are, it's TDF, the Theater Development Fund, yes. which um, they run the TKTS booth that's literally right over there. Right, right. Um, and they do extraordinary work bringing theater to people who otherwise wouldn't have access to it because they can't afford it. Yes. Will you please tell everybody about TDF? Yes, no, of course. So the Theater Development Fund is mm -hmm. dedicated to bringing the power of performing arts to everyone. I am sold already. Yeah. Please go on. <laughs> they break down barriers to the arts. Now, mm -hmm. whether those barriers be financial or physical or developmental, they do this with a variety of programs mm -hmm. like the TKTS discount booth, yep. accessibility programs mm -hmm. that provide access to folks with mobility issues or with loss of sight or hearing. Yep. And uh, for people on the autism spectrum, they provide autism friendly performances. Yes. Uh, and of course, their curriculum based school programs bring over 10,000 New York City public school students to the theater each year. Yes. Which is awesome. Because which it is would be downright unjust if kids who live in the greatest theater city in the world yep. didn't get to go see it because it was too expensive. Yes, and also those are awesome audiences to play for. Okay, now globally, yes. if we widen the lens back out of New York City, some of the targets of goal number one are... The targets! By 2030, reduce poverty by at least half. That's no joke. And eradicate extreme poverty, which is measured uh, as people who are living with less than $1.25 each day. Build the resilience of the poor and the vulnerable to environmental, economic, and social disasters. 
and implement policies nationally, regionally, and internationally to support least developed countries and invest in poverty eradication actions. Yes, and these are big goals. They're Huge. big goals. Yes. And you might be wondering what you can do to help. What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solutions so out of our control that it can be really overwhelming. But there is always something that you can do, always something that's manageable for you in your life. If we just all keep trying to do the next right thing, do the next right thing. Together, we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can. Of course, you can always find a Goal One charity and make a donation, big or small. A great website, did you know this, to find charities that are doing amazing work is charitywatch.org. Oh, great. Yeah. See, good to know. Yep. Donate what you don't use, clothes, books, furniture, etc., to local charities or campaigns collecting for victims of emergencies. Speak up. Lend your voice to the fight against extreme poverty through letter writing campaigns, showing up at rallies, yep. by volunteering in your own community with groups who are helping to reduce suffering where you live. And as always, stay informed and vote. 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 Actually, Jared, that one's so important. Can you please say it again as Sonny Bono? <laughs> uh, yeah, so make sure that you get out there and vote. All righty. As always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round! Let's start the clock now. What is your favorite snack to eat when you're in the thick of tech? Dried mango. What role have you always wanted to play but have never gotten to play because you were quote unquote the wrong gender? Angelica Schuyler. Do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? I do. If we could generate the power to light Broadway shows through human exertion, would you rather do it by tap dancing, blowing a trombone, or bench pressing ushers? Bench pressing ushers. If there was a blackout and you were trapped inside a theater, where would you go to feel the most safe? The pit. Since a revival of a show is basically reusing, recycling, repurposing it, so it's super good for the planet. <laughs> Very good for the planet. What show would you want to recycle to star in? We'll Lame pretend is a Ah, good answer. One day I'll be Jean <laughs> One day you'll be Jean Valjean. Sing Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid, go. Oh, That's not Under the Sea. Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Oh, yeah. Rats, cockroaches, or red-spotted lanternflies? Oh, I'm going to have to go with rats. Yeah. Who has been one of your favorite people to work with in this business? Besides Anika and my wife, Drew Galing. Ding! Ding! Thank you so much, Jared. Um, thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Yay. And thank you for watching. Thank you. My friends, if you're ever feeling down and scared about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet. It is more and more people every day who are out there problem solving, innovating, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them and who they are. And you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Let's all just do the next right thing, and together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world. <laughs>